What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Barbie Stacks, the big one, not the little one. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button because we live over here and that's um, period, okay? So today's video is going to be on things I wish I knew before I became a stripper, okay? In the comments, it actually, like, suggested that I make this video. So I was thinking, I was like, that is so freaking smart. Like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I knew the things that I know now before I became a dancer. You know what I'm saying? This video is for all the girls who want to become dancers, that's trying to get a little insight on how the club is or whatever. This video is strictly for y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, like, I wish I had somebody to tell me all the things that I'm gonna tell y'all before I became a dancer. Because not gonna lie, like, if somebody would have told me half of the things that I know today about being a dancer... I honestly do not think I would have became one. <laughs> like, for real. Yeah, so, if y'all see me keep looking at this book, it's because I wrote down everything in this book. So, I won't forget nothing because it's like a lot of things that I wrote down for y'all. And, y'all don't mind my hair because these braids is really old and it's time to take them out. Honestly, they're not old because I got them done last week. They're just so big that my hair is like coming out the braids. But, anyways, y'all, so if y'all keep seeing me looking at this notebook, it's because I wrote down my ideas in, okay? Let's get it. Period. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like the strip club y'all is a whole nother animal. Like for real, like y'all, the girls that never danced before a day in y'all life, let me tell y'all, y'all think y'all gonna come in the strip club, y'all gonna make millions of dollars like that? Baby, I'm trying to tell you, the strip club is an animal. For real, it's its own animal, okay? Don't get me wrong, you can get in this, come in the strip club and run up a bag, I'm not gonna lie. You definitely can, but let me tell you, the sh that come with it, <laughs> the sh that comes with it, you just got to be prepared. So the first thing that I wish I knew before I became a stripper is 95% of the girls that work there is not going to like you. If they're not going to try to bully you, they're going to try to use you. Okay. So one, they're going to bully you because you're cute. Okay. Two, they're going to try to use you because they they see potential in you. Nine times out of 10, it'd be the vets. It'd be the girls that's been in there for 10 years, for five, 10 years plus, that's going to try to bully you or use you. You feel what I'm saying? But that's where you have to be smarter than that. And you have to use your brain and you got to understand the girls that's trying to use you and the girls that's trying to just work with you. Sometimes it's best to work by yourself. Like me, I work by myself in the club. Like here and there, I may like dance with somebody else, but you got to understand. The strip club is not a playground. It's not somewhere you go to have fun. It's somewhere that you go to work, you make your money, you go home. Understand, those girls is not your friend. Those girls is not your friends. They do not like you, okay? Especially if you're cute, you are a threat, okay? You are a threat to them. They do not like you. So do not go in the strip club thinking you're going to make millions of friends. These girls are going to ride and die for you because they not. I'm telling you, these girls is animals, okay? They're animals that are going to eat you alive if you let them. So that's you gotta stand your ground you gotta let them know you're not to be played with if you gotta fight bang it out honestly like I'm, I'm i'm a big firm believer in fighting if i have to because you really just gotta show somebody like do not play with me period you know what i'm saying because they will they will try to play with you they will try to steal your money they will try to make you feel like you like them just to get what they can get from you they will make you feel everything outside of a human being okay them girls is not y'all friends them girls do not like you and if they do like you it's because they're trying to use you okay the second thing i wish i knew before i became a dancer is colorism y'all colorism 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 now a lot of people don't talk about this but we're gonna talk about this okay colorism is real racism in the strip club is very much real you're like a lighter skin complexion nine times out of ten you're gonna be favored quicker than a dark skin girl that's just what it is y'all i don't understand i don't know why don't ask me why that's just how the strip club is they like lighter skin girls like especially with latina or something like that or you foreign you know what i'm saying they love foreign girls everybody else probably had different experience but from my experiences and i've worked in a lot of clubs y'all i've worked in new york i've worked in jersey i've worked in new orleans I worked in Texas, Mississippi. I worked in five states, okay? So I'm pretty, I pretty much got the down pack of how strip clubs run. You feel what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Like if you're dark skinned and you're pretty, like you're gonna get picked too. It's not like they're not gonna pick you. But what I'm saying is if you are darker, you have to have 
more than what the light skinned girl has. If that makes sense. If the light, let's say if a light skinned girl is light skinned and she's beautiful and she got a BBL and you dark skinned and you natural, like the light skinned girl gonna get picked before you, y'all. That's just how it go. That's just how it goes. Or let's say the light skinned girl and she light skinned and she all right and she has a natural body and you dark skinned and you got a BBL, you fine as hell. They gonna pick you. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just, it's just how the strip club runs, y'all. Don't ask me why, but these are my personal experiences. Everybody had different personal experiences, but colorism is definitely real in the strip club, like for real. The third thing, it's expensive, y'all. Being a dancer is so freaking expensive. Like I told y'all, somebody would have told me these things. Like, y'all, if I knew being a dancer was this expensive, baby, <laughs> Who? I would not have became a dancer. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, you got to keep your hair done. You got to keep your nails done, your feet done, your makeup done. Your outfits got to be on point, y'all. And let me break it down to y'all, okay? So as far as hair, you already know, wigs nowadays, they be running for at least three to 500 up. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you want a good wig, you paying at least $500 for the wig, okay? In an install, $75. Some places, $100. That's $600 for an install. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody know wigs don't last that long. I don't care who you are. I don't care how long you've been putting wigs on, baby. A wig, the longest a wig gonna last you is three, four days. I do not care, okay? I do not care. Because people be thinking wigs can last for one week, two weeks. Baby, they don't, okay? Wigs last you about three, four days, a week if you're lucky. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying, okay? <laughs> Your nails done. You already know nails is expensive. You want something cute. You want a nail salon, baby. You spend at least $100 on a fly ass set. Makeup, nowadays, like I remember when they used to charge like $40 for a face, baby. Now they charge you $80 for a face. So makeup, expensive. Outfits, y'all think I'm lying? Become a dancer. Outfits, be $80 and up, baby, for a little piece of string, y'all. Literally, a little piece of string, a little bikini top, and a little bottom, $80. Hillary wants something fly, like a really fly outfit with a name brand on it, and it's stitched all nice with diamonds and stuff like that, $125. Sometimes they be charging you $150 for an outfit. Shoes, don't even get me started, y'all. Shoes alone, okay, stripper shoes, baby, you're spending at least $100. And that's the least you're going to spend on shoes, okay? Baby, it's very expensive to be a dancer, okay? And let's not forget that you got to pay to work too. Baby, yes, you have to pay to work. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that you have to pay to work. And when I be telling people that, they be like, what? Yes, girl, you have to pay to work. Every single night that you come, you have to pay to work, baby. You do the math. It's expensive. So the fourth thing is drugs and alcoholism, y'all. A lot of people do not speak about this. I do not know why, but it needs to be spoken about, y'all. It is a big problem in the strip club industry. My thing is, number one, you need to have a limit, okay? A lot of girls cannot dance without being off of coke, they cannot dance without drinking alcohol, cannot dance without smoking weed, cannot dance without popping pills. Y'all, it's real. The dr drugs... It's real in the strip club industry, okay? Because you get so accustomed to doing it every single day that you get used to it and you get addicted to it. When you drink, when you pop your pills or whatever that makes you feel good, you should have a limit. Because if you're just in there and you're just popping pills, drinking liquor, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be level-headed. You're not going to know what's going on. You always want to know what's going on. Do ne Never go in a strip club feeling like, oh, yeah, we at a club. We It's a party. I'm about to get lit. No, you're not there to get lit. You're there to make money, okay? The last thing you want to do is become a target. So once you get so messed up that you can't even think, you become a target. You got to think about it. As a stripper, you're already a target. They're already looking at us like, like animals. You know what I'm saying? They, they themselves are the animals, and they're looking at us like we pray. You feel what I'm saying? We already half naked. Basically, we might as well not even half naked. We basically naked, walking around. You know what I'm saying? We looking good. We smelling good. We pretty, bodies banging. You know what I'm saying? And and, and the niggas, they praying on us because they animals, they praying on us. So if you walking around and you drunk out of your mind, you falling everywhere, stagging everywhere, you don't, you don't think that somebody that's thinking like that not going to try you? You got to think. You have to think. Do not make yourself more of a target than you already are. We are already targeted because of what we do and who we are. 
Do not make yourself vulnerable, okay? Be in your right state of mind every single time. You cannot go in that club so messed up to where you can't even think straight. To where somebody can, oh, yeah, baby, let me talk to you. Da -da -da -da. Put you on the side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me talk to you outside. You walk outside because it's the end of your shift, you know what I'm saying? You walk into, you, well, you think you about to walk to your car. They throw you in theirs. You got to be smart. There's no y'all limits because being a dancer is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. And if you don't know what you're doing, you will get got, okay? A lot of people, they become drug addicts, alcoholics, just because they've been doing it so long and because of the strip club that they don't even notice that they're developing a habit. So y'all, be safe, be careful, know y'all limits, don't get too messed up, and do not form a habit that you don't need to form. You know what I'm saying? It's just work. It's just work. If you have to be high off of something to make some money, then maybe that's not the profession for you. Maybe you need to go find another job. If being in the strip club industry is going to slowly but surely make you a drug addict just to make some money, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. The fifth thing is good customers will only last but so long because you will not entertain them outside of the strip club. Mm, mm, mm. That'll do it. <laughs> That a doing, y'all. Let me tell y'all, if you ever get a good customer that come in the strip club that spends bread on you every single time they come in here, let me tell y'all, if y'all not giving them no play outside of the strip club, baby, that's not going to last but for so long. I say maybe a month, maybe three weeks. Sooner or later, he's going to start looking at you like, dang, I'm spending a lot of money on her. Like, I want something in return. Now, I want something. You feel what I'm saying? That's just how men think. I gave you this. Now, I want you to give me that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to strictly just say it because y'all know what it is. They're going to eventually want to have sex with you. So that's where you're going to have to come to the realization of where if, oh, do I want to sell my body? Do I want to give my body to this man? That's where you're going to have to make the decision if you want to cut him off or if you want to give him some play. And baby, I don't mean conversation, okay? So just understand when you find a good customer, just know eventually they're going to want something in return. They're not going to just keep spending their money on you and they don't get nothing in return. So number six, if you get in a relationship with anybody, it could be somebody you meet in the club, you meet outside of the club, eventually down the line, they're going to want you to stop dancing, okay? Y'all, this has happened to me so many times, okay? My last relationship I was in, she had met me in the strip club, y'all. Met me in the strip club. She was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. I don't care that you dance. You know what I'm saying? I actually like it. It's exotic. It's sexy. Da da da. Because she made fast money or whatever. I made fast money. So yeah, we was just living that lifestyle. This girl fell in love with me, and all of a sudden, she wanted me to get out of the strip club. What? Nah, like, you're wilding, like. <laughs> You're wilding. Once they fall in love with you, or once they start liking you like a lot, a lot, they're going to want you to eventually to get up out the club. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like it happens every single day. It happened to me. It happens to the best of us. And that's where you're gonna have to come to your senses and you're gonna have to think like, hmm, do I want to get out the strip club for this person? And if they're worth it, you know what I'm saying? If you see yourself being with them for a long time and if they're taking care of you, you feel what I'm saying? And if that's what you want to do, then do it. But personally, me, baby, I'm not doing it. I'm not coming out the club until I'm ready. Because let me tell you, I made that mistake before. I made that mistake and I got off the club for somebody and the relationship did not even work. I was miserable the whole time. And y'all, never again. When I tell you never again, never again. So you have to stay your ground. If that person's worth not making no money, then hey, go ahead, go for it. That's why you got to set that boundary up front. You got to let them know, look, before I get with you or before we do anything, I'm going to let you know right now, I'm not giving out the strip club until I'm ready to. So if this problem occurs down the line, we just going to have to break up. Like, Straight up and down. Hey y'all, so number seven, men will feel like they can sexually harass you just because they have money, y'all. Crazy because men really think they have power over you because they have money and they don't. You feel what I'm saying? Men will try to sexually touch you in places that you don't want to be touched because they have money. And they'll do it in a cocky way or sometimes they'll do it in a respectful way. But nine times out of ten, they're doing it in a disrespectful way, y'all. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. They will feel like they can sexually harass you, yes. But like I said, everything about the strip club is decisions, okay? Now, if you don't mind men touching you, you know what I'm saying, and you know you about to get that 500 he got on the side of you and all he want to do is touch you, 
and boom, let them touch you if that's what you want to do. But don't ever do something because somebody wants you to do it. If you want to do something, do it because you want to do it, not because they want you to do it, okay? Number nine is never take things personally, okay? There's going to be times where you don't get picked, okay? You're going to pick other girls over you. Don't take, don't take stuff personally. Don't take stuff personally at all. Because a lot of times, they be knowing them girls, they be picking over you. The other half of the times, they be having sex with them girls that they pick over you. So never take things personally ever you don't walk around in a bad mood because oh they picked her they didn't pick me huh hmm. you know what i'm saying that's gonna mess your whole night up that's just gonna bring that energy into the work environment to where you can't even think straight because you so mad they picked her over you and you batted it up okay nine times out of ten we be batted in the girls that they be picking us over only be because they be having sex with her so don't take nothing personal y'all don't take nothing personal ship club is none about the ship club is personal to me y'all pick her over me cool i'm on to the next it's so much bread in the ship club don't trip over one nigga okay Another thing is prioritizing your money i think that's very important in the ship club you can touch some money i'm not gonna lie you could touch some bread so don't be in a mindset of thinking i'm gonna make this bag tomorrow if you keep spending your money up you'll never have it you'll never have nothing to show for it so prioritize your money let's say you make 300 dollars on a monday you know what i'm saying and tuesday you know you have to pay tip out of work and let's say it's 40 dollars of work sit aside 40 dollars. you know what i'm saying so you can go to work i know a lot of girls who do not prioritize their money to where they don't even have enough money to pay their tip out the next following day so make sure y'all sit side job money we got tip out okay because baby when if you don't have it you just won't have it and ain't nobody gonna let you rock unless you go work in the club and you let them know you don't have it you'll give it to them at the end of the night but in that case they double your money so let's say tip out is forty dollars on a tuesday it's gonna be eighty dollars at the end of the night for you and if you don't make the eighty dollars you think they're gonna let you come work tomorrow not gonna happen and it's invest in yourself okay i love this topic so invest in yourself let's talk about y'all if your grill is messed up baby Save up your bread. Save up your bread and, and, and drop a bag on your teeth. Invest in yourself because the better you look, the more money you will make. Yes, it's true. A lot of girls that work in the strip club, they be having their bodies done, their teeth done. You know what I'm saying? That really invested in themselves make a lot of money. Why? Because they invested in themselves, y'all. If you know your grill is messed up, save up your money. Drop a bag on your teeth, baby, because you will see more money. You don't like your body or whatever. Get your body done. Not saying you have to get your body done, but I'm saying if you don't like your body and that's something that you're insecure about, get it done. Get it done. Just get it done. And then don't let nobody tell you, girl, why is you getting this done? I'm getting it done because I want it. Not because I need it, because I want it. Baby, and what about it? A lot of people be thinking, a lot of people be trying to talk people out of getting stuff done because they can't get it done. No, I'm a firm believer. If, baby, if you want your teeth done, go get your teeth done. If you want your body done, go get your body done. If you want your knees done, go get your knees done. I don't care what it is. Go get it done. If, if that's what's going to make you have more confidence in the club, go get it done. If something is making you feel insecure then you won't have confidence if you don't have confidence then you won't make no money you know what i'm saying people can look at somebody and tell they don't have confidence especially in the strip club because if you're walking around covering your body like this because you like you don't like your stomach that's noticeable they're gonna pick the girl walk that that's walking past you that got the same problem but she's starting to like what about it you know what i'm saying you have to have confidence to make money in the club and you can't be in a strip club being scary baby you will not make no money being scary okay build up your confidence so you can make the most money that you can make okay invest in yourselves okay you have to have thick skin okay for one those girls are gonna try you they're gonna try you they're gonna say a little slick sh out their mouth they're gonna talk about you like a dog to your face behind your back however whatever just depending on how they feel you have to have thick skin if you weak and you let what somebody tell you make you cry like you ain't gonna last long in the club baby if a dude don't want you dancing on him he be like nah i'm good keep it pushing keep it moving don't be like oh i'm ugly don't be like oh he don't he didn't pick me because i'm ugly uh. no he didn't pick me i i go to the next thing you cannot let nobody or what nobody say bother you i had really really fun making this video y'all so much y'all for watching this video if you like this video do not forget to give it, give it a thumbs up if you are a ton of subscriber y'all thank you so much for watching my video if you are new here my name is barbie sags do not forget to hit that subscribe button join the family because we live here and that's on um, period okay i'll see y'all in my next one <laughs>